how to do this green drawing and painting. This is a red crowned crane found in Japan. And because Tokyo, Japan has the Olympics right now, this one is carrying the Olympic torch. The supplies you need are a pencil, an eraser. I used a Sharpie to color in some of the areas and to outline. And then I used Crayola watercolor paints to paint and some paint brushes. I used a thin one and a thicker one. And a water container and some paper towel to wipe your brush I also off. used a red Sharpie and an orange Sharpie um, and a yellow one to do uh, some of the scene. And it's nice to have a Sharpie or a permanent marker if you're using watercolor so that the marker doesn't run. Okay, go get your supplies and let's get creating. I'm gonna show you how to draw this beautiful red crowned crane. So we're gonna start part way down so it's about a hand for me but it might be a little bit more and we're gonna start with the beak so I'm gonna start kind of like a sort of like an M and you want that beak to be open because it's gonna be holding the flame okay and then we're gonna do the head so we're gonna do a curve there and then just come curving both sides like so now we're gonna do a long neck long 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 neck like that then we're gonna do like a a curve here because this part's gonna be it's gonna have like a little bit of red i'll do like a little this area is going to be red and then we'll do a little eye in there and then this area is going to all be black and I'll put a little line for the black part. Next we're going to just kind of scoop down and do like a big J. So we're going to come around for the belly and then here instead of curving the J you just keep going across like that. And then we're going to come down on this side and curve along. Now we're going to do sort of this wing area and it's just, we're going to start part way down and curve and do a feather. And then we're just going to keep doing that. Kind of angling the curves that way. And then they go right into this tail area. And this tail area kind of looks like a tail, but it's like the ends of the wing because the wings are so long. I'm just going to keep filling that in. And this area is going to be all black when we fill it in. It's going to look super cool. Next, we're going to do the legs that they stand on. So we're going to do like an area, kind of like a tri a funnel or an upside down triangle. And we'll do two of those like that. And that's kind of where the feathers are at the top of the legs. Then we're going to draw the legs coming down. And they have really thin, thin, thin legs. And then they have like kind of like webbed feet. Like that and then we can do the other one sort of bent they kind of can bend them in weird ways <laughs> and then they've got these sort of knobby little kind of like little knees I call it now we're gonna do the second one if you want to add another one in so we're gonna start it the same way but this one's gonna have a bit of a curved neck and the wings are gonna be up just to do something different so we're going to start again with our thin M for the beak, and then a curve, and then we're going to do the head part, same as last time, and this time we're going to do a curve. So we're going to curve, 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 so we did a G, uh, backwards J, and then we're going to go all the way up. 
because these wings are going to be up. Now we're going to finish this part. We're going to go down for the neck and then we're going to go around. So around, 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 and come up like that. Then we're going to do the legs down here. So again, do your little funnel or upside down triangle. And then one leg's going to come down again and let's have the other one sort of bent like so. You can make those thicker too because I probably won't paint the legs. I'll just leave it the marker. Probably make those a little thicker. And remember we need our knobby little knees. Now we're going to do the wings up. So we're going to kind of bring this body over. So this wing's going to be behind and this one's going to be in front. We're just going to do our wings all the way up like that. Like so. And then do a few in behind as well. So this wing's behind and this is in front. And then we're going to do our little sort of feathers at the back. We're just going to finish off the face over here. So we're going to do our curve. So you kind of, you start at the end of the beak and curve around. And we're going to do our eye and then I'll just leave a little area for the red, red crown. So we're just going to divide it like that. And then remember, this is all dark, this part. And then, of course, we got to add in the Olympic flame that they're passing. So do a, a line in between the beak. So it looks like the beak is holding it. And then it's just a long rectangle with a rectangle going the other way. And then a flame. I'm making my flame pretty big. There we go. So there's my drawing of the red crowned crane or a Japanese crane holding the Olympic torch because the Olympics are in Tokyo while I'm doing this. So you can leave yours like this or you can start coloring with markers if you want. Uh, and I'm going to do some painting on mine. Before I do some painting, I think I'm going to fill in this black area with marker. I'll just show you this area on this side that curves around like this, not where the eye is, the other part, it's all black. So I'm gonna actually color that in because I want it to be a nice dark color because, oh gosh, they're so beautiful because they have white, they have white bodies and then their f uh, feathers have black on them. I'm going to color that in and I'll do the same to the other side. I'm using a red Sharpie and I'm going to do this red crown here, which really is makes it gorgeous. So if you're not using paints, then you can just use Crayola markers to do this if you want. And then I'm going to do an orange beak. And then I actually have a gold, gold marker. So I'm going to do that gold. So now I'm going to do the flame. So I'm going to start with yellow. I'm just using, this is a dual tip brush pen. Now these definitely are activated by water, but it's okay because I'm not doing them near where the watercolors might be. And then I'm going to do orange. And then I'm going to do red. So now I'm going to get out my watercolors. I'm going to make a bit of a gray. So I'm going to mix. I don't have white in this palette. So if you have white, you can mix it with it. I'm just going to mix a gray by adding lots of water to black. So I'm going to use the gray down here. Just like under where those feathers are and 
would kind of be in shadow a little bit. Yeah, and then I'm just going to do these wings a little bit with gray, just so they stand out a little bit more. And then all these are going to be black, so I won't do that yet. And then I'll do a little bit back here. And I might just put a little bit of a shadow there because that would be showing that that's behind kind of. Now I'm going to take the black and I'm going to do all these feathers back here. And I'm going to get as dark a black as I can. I'm not doing this with marker because then I was thinking I'd lose all those outlines. And I really want each of those feathers to be seen. So I'm going to keep it black. As dark a black as you can get with paint. But you still see the marker outline. Now if you look at pictures of these gorgeous birds, you'll see that the black is at the tips of their wings and it starts at the top, but it doesn't go all the way down. So we'll just do about halfway with the black and then the rest is white. Ooh, that's a nice black I got on my brush now. So I just did it to here. I'm leaving the other ones white and I'm just going to add some to the tips here then. And I'm just going to blend that black a little bit. So I'm just going to have my brushes pretty clean and I'm just going to just blend it so it's not like a, a line there. Just so it kind of blends. Actually, I think I'm going to make this whole area gray just because it's behind so it would be darker. You can leave yours just like this. I mean, this it would be beautiful just like that. But I'm going to do a little bit of a background. And because I love this red color, I'm going to do a bit of a red moon. So I'm going to draw a moon over here. I kind of felt like this area of the painting needed something. And I'm going to do a red moon over there. So I'm going to add some red paint. And just do a nice red moon. I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to add something. And then I love this red and I wanted it to carry on somewhere else in the painting. So now I'm going to do these few lines of grass. I'm going to just do them with like a gold. But if you have green, you could do that too. I don't know. I just thought it needed something on the bottom. And then I'm going to do my background yellow. Because I think that would look nice with the red and the orange. So I'm just going to mix my yellow. I just kind of want a lighter yellow. So I'm just going to take lots of the yellow. Add a little bit of water. And I'm just going to go across. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful color. Nice and bright might make it a little lighter and I'm just gonna kind of do it solid and make sure that your moon is dry when you're doing this and I might kind of do it darker at the top and then it will get lighter so I'll keep adding water kind of like an ombre effect and don't forget to go in between there between there it's nice that I use the permanent marker so it's not going to run. I'm just going to keep going and I'm going to do the whole thing yellow. Maybe I'll add a little bit of green at the bottom here. Move it up a bit so you can see this green part. I'm just, I'm pulling my brush up as if it was grass like that so you can see that. So here is my finished painting of these gorgeous cranes. I just love the, their colors, like how they're so white and black and with a little red crown. And they're passing the Olympic torch. So I can't wait to see your creations. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe and like.